Here we go. Yo ho ho sha. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and today. I got Wampy's thickest booster pack I've ever seen. I've never seen a booster pack this thick. This is like a gear three Luffy's fist pack. And I'm gonna shrip them this thing. These were given out in Japan with tickets to see the One Piece Film Red movie. There were 500,000 of these distributed. I was able to swoop a couple up because I'm definitely gonna keep some of these sealed. I think they're gonna be wonderful collector's items. I mean, when do you see a pack this thick? This is the thickest pack of cards I've ever opened. Some really great looking cards in here. Some really cool art. I'm very excited about the style of promos that they're taking with these and i'm excited to check it out and let them join the joe crew go ahead and smush that subscription button trip them this thick pack this is thick pack here you can see the thickness of the pack it's about that thick it even has a shrip em nub. I mean, this is like, this is a real, this is a real opportunity here to shrip em this thing. I just, here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa, what a shrip em. I've never shrip em to anything like that. What an absolutely amazing experience. But there's some ad cards for these like different one piece things, Bounty Rush, Treasure Cruise, stuff like that. And um, there's also some advertisements for some toys. So some different figures. This has a QR code on there. This one, this is what I'm hyped for. This is what I'm absolutely so hyped for. This Yamato pop looks so rad and I am definitely gonna be using this as a token. I think this is awesome. To have toys on cards, this is like some of my favorite things all put together. And I think we're gonna be seeing a little bit more of that when we look at these cards. So very, very hype about this card. This is probably my most wanted card from this whole uh, deck thing. But yeah, I guess the idea of this is, and here's a couple more ads, some bean, some some straw hat cocoa coo nuts beans they look like beans and oh imagine works is making a luffy figure that's going to be really cool they have like cloth clothes and stuff which is cool and they're very like poseable and do a lot of stuff with them so dun, 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 dun. let's get into this deck so the idea of this was to get a promotional deck that you can actually play the game with it's 40 cards so it's not a legal deck but this is uta and i think her ability is you pay one and give one of your red card skillless cards like plus 2000 i think so like a card that i don't totally remember but i'm pretty sure she just gives something 2000 power plus by tapping one five life mono red leader and i love the art on here it's so cool this is clearly like a concept sketch colored in and it looks fantastic i think this is a genius idea for this leader all right we got the jellyfish pirates here and this is just you know skillless means that they don't have skill so this is kind of like a vanilla card it's just skillless it's just a three cost and five thousand power and 1k combo power and we got one two two of those and then we got a gordon here so gordon is a 2k swing one cost and you can activate main send them to the bottom of your deck and give one of your opponent's cards minus 3000 which is pretty interesting because you could be a good turn one play you just play them on turn one if they play a searcher you can swing into the searcher and then activate main bottom deck him and minus something to either kill it with another card or just swing into it when it's less powerful so pretty good card i think this is actually a pretty uh pretty smart choice for a card but no counter power but strong skill and we got two of those and then oh kawaii kobe so kawaii kobe is a 3k blocker and he's basically like uh similar to the boa hancock card but no counter power and he's 3000 power so you can trigger play this card which means if you reveal this card off your life you can put it into play and he's a blocker so then you can block an attack after that and i just i love the art on this shout out to azura I know this was his favorite art in this, so I know if you guys want to go check out his video where he sees these, you should check that out also. But Kawaii Kobe for the win, and there are two of those in here. And then we got Sunny Kun, and this looks like a Bam Presto figure, which I really like that they're putting toys on these cards. Um, this is just like Karu from the starter deck, so one cost, 3,000 power vanilla, and 1,000 counter power. But a uh, great looking cutie little guy, 1,000 Sunny. Oh, Shanks. This is like the movie promo. I think this card looks really sick. And eight cost. 10,000 power. I mean, it seems like a lot to pay, but sometimes on turns, you don't really have that much to do with your Dawn other than stop it on your leader and swing. And this guy's a big body and hard to deal with. And he's 10,000 power plus 1k power. So he's still going to be live in your hand. And the art on this is just so cool. I mean, look at that. That is like just straight up from the movie. I think this looks really, really awesome. Um, 
I think this is a very, very cool card. And we got two of those. Now this is where stuff starts getting interesting. This law, this action figure law, I love this. Another Bam Presto tag on here, but this law has some value also. On play, he minuses something by 2000. So he's a four cost, but minusing stuff by an any amount is strong because it allows you to swing into it and your opponent's gonna need more counter power to defend that thing that they probably are gonna wanna defend. So, you know, neg negging power and then swinging into it with other stuff is really Really, really good and this card looks awesome i i really like this card a lot it's also got counter power you know four costs and then you're gonna have a 5k body on board the turn after that and we got two of these guys and then of course the barto boy bartolomeo i love this guy so much what an absolute champion so barto's a blocker as well he's a two cost and then he's a 3000 power blocker no counter power which is interesting i thought they may have given this counter power since the main set purple blocker that's a two cost has counter power but you gotta love this art it's so good these action figure cards it's amazing i love it and two of those i guess as well and then we got beppo at the uta show so our first beppo card was michael beppo beppo blasting out of a michael bay scene and now we have beppo at the concert at the festival getting ready to dance his pants off you can see this beautiful heart is just struck right through his heart with the beauty of uta's voice he's pretty good he's dawn x1 he ko's one of your opponent's cards 3000 power or less which is similar to robin but there's really no reason you would play oh actually he's a 2k counter so that's pretty interesting so he's actually uh he's a 2k counter and he's got 2000 power and when he's dawn x1 he'll ko something that's uh 3000 power or less so pretty strong card but i still think robin is better i think uh the the 4k power makes her a 5k when she's swinging so he's only going to be a 3k when he's swinging but cute card. And then we got Helmeppo. Helmeppo's cute pants coming in hot in his little commando cargo, cargo shorts. Got his khakis and his knife and his big necklace ready for the show. This dude, this, this eyewear, I don't I think I've ever seen glasses like this, but you know, this guy's clearly been a man of style the whole time. We saw from day one when he walks in with his atrocious haircut and bell bottoms and gross fit that this dude likes the style out. And I think the glasses speak a lot of that style. So, uh, Cutie Helmeppo for the win again. And here we got Ben Beckman. Seven cost, 9K power, really strong. Um, the art on here is really cool. And you can see this is an alternate art. This is Die XT. He also, or this artist also drew the, uh, I believe it was the Jack art and the King art for the alternate arts for the first set of OP01. But really, really cool looking card. Very dynamic art. He's literally just like blasting right out of the corner of the card and. It's a tough guy. We haven't seen too much of Beckman, so hopefully we'll see some of him in the movie. I still haven't seen the movie. And then we got our Luffy, four cost, 6K power. This is basically like Frankie from the Red Luffy starter deck, but I like this art a lot better. I would definitely play this over Frankie. So great looking card, very, very cool art, and just a four cost, 6K body. Oh, nice. We got three of those. That's nice. And then here's Yasop. I don't know if he's ready to see his son. You know, he just di dipped out a long time ago. But look, it looks like this guy's on fire. There's literally a fire. He probably started it. This is Die XT as well. So Die XT with two of the alternate arts, or, you know, not alternate arts, but two of the artworks within this promotional pack is pretty cool. I like this guy, this person's work a lot. Uh, six cost, 8K, and plus 1,000 counter power. So cool card and then we got some guard points and ooh, jet pistols that's great jet pistol is fantastic so it's nice to get more of these cards because i'm always looking for extra jet pistols to put in my decks with all the decks i build so very very cool to get some jet pistols in this starter because this is such an amazingly good card you just pay for and ko something six thousand power less and with all the effects that you have to minus stuff in this deck uh, things can get pretty spicy i think you can kill a lot of stuff with this jet pistol that's the starter or that's the movie starter deck. I hope they release these in the States when One Piece Film Red comes out. If you're listening, Bandai, please, please, please make these. We will love these and cherish them. And I want to play with a lot of these cards. So I think they'll be releasing them in promos in some form or another. But I do hope that they come out with the movie because this movie looks really good. I'm very excited to see it. I don't really know much about it. It looks fantastic. Thanks for checking in and watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these cards. I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. So my dental tooth tip to you would be if you notice your gums are really red and bleeding, it's probably worth getting a cleaning because your gums bleed when there is bacteria and buildup in the pockets of the gum surrounding the tooth. So to be able to get a professional cleaning and clean all that out, it'll really help reduce the bacterial load in your mouth and then staying on a routine flossing and brushing routine daily is going to really help keep that bacterial load low and your gums won't bleed as much. But if your gums are bleeding when you floss, they usually will bleed for about two weeks until they stop bleeding. So because your gums are bleeding, that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. You got to clean those areas and keep those clean. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time.
Hey, it's me, Dr. Dronic. I'd like to take this opportunity to talk to you about how 